One area where Blender lags behind and its greatest weakness is its particle system. It's limited in functionality and just lacks a lot of basic things you come to expect in other 3D applications. But like in many other areas where Blender is limited, a solution is always one Google search away. And this solution comes in form of Scatter 4.0, a Blender add-on that combines procedural workflow from industry-leading softwares like Houdini, mixes it with intricate functionality from major ActiveX programs like 3ds Max, and adds Blender's minimum user-friendly design with well-created asset library as a cherry on top. To bring you a particle-based object scattering add-on fully integrated with Blender for all your world building needs. This is an add-on that brings Blender's functionality on par with Houdini's Procedure Object Scattering, giving you a non-destructive layer-based workflow with the performance and ease of use you get with high-end expensive tools from 3ds Max for a quarter of the price. If you need speed and great result in a matter of minutes for forest creations, landscaping, or simply populating your scenes with ease, Scatter Pro is the add-on for you. So let's go through their release notes just to see what kind of functionality you're getting with this add-on. I mean, you just have to look at this scene here to see that this is the kind of add-on you need to add to your repository. You can see how this add-on has been used to populate worlds. Later, we're going to go through a step-by-step -step tutorial just to show you how you can use it in your workflow. They have a lot of asset packs from just simple grass assets are to trees and uh, vegetation are uh, like this. Let me just play for you the demo video for you quickly here before we get into the tutorial uh, so that you can see me go through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use this. Yeah, so they have a lot of presets to quickly scatter different objects onto a surface, uh, for example this. And the best feature about this add-on that I like is uh, their image-based particle distribution. So where you import an image and use that uh, to influence how your particles are, are distributed, you can also use curves. And uh, it's all procedural and layer-based, meaning you can always go back and change things uh, to how you want them to be. And uh, this is just showing off their optimization where only the particles that are visible through the camera are added to your scenes. This frees up a lot of computation power to your viewport uh, so that you can easily navigate through your viewport without having it hang and lag a lot of times. And now they have broken down the add-on for you here. If they, you have the scatter feature that lets you uh, scatter different objects, not limited to only vegetation, but any other object you have in your scene, you can add it to their scatter algorithm to just help you distribute whatever objects you have in your scene. They have an intricate masking feature that can allow you to use the altitude of your geometry to determine the distribution of different particles. So let's dive into a tutorial to just see how you can use this add-on. And if you want to download this add-on, the link will be in the description so that you can get it for yourself. So after downloading the add-on, just go under Edit, Preferences, Add-on, and then find navigate to where you have downloaded the add-on, select it, and then hit Install. After you have installed, it should come up in the search results, or if it doesn't, you just have to search for it, and it should be among the first results uh, that come up. Then you need to check this uh, check mark uh, so that it's activated, and then you also have to accept and agree to the terms of the license. Also have to enable Lodify and Biome Manager, which is basically a way to interface with the Biome's library. As you can see, you have a lot of materials, you have a lot of grass, you have a lot of uh, biomes, uh, vegetations. And uh, in addition, you also can download more assets into this library by just going into these other uh, categories and to get those assets if you want. In your 3D area, to access the add-on settings, you just hit N on your keyboard to access all uh, the scatter add-on settings. Okay, so let's use the scatter add-on to create something simple here. Uh, so I'm just going to add a plane here. This is going to be my terrain. Sculpt myself some nice terrain. To use the add-on, after installing it, just hit N and you will see it here and uh, you can choose your terrain as the target. You can either use this uh, eyedropper to select it or just select the mesh and then click on this box here uh, to assign it as a target. Now you also have this biome manager which is basically a library of different vegetation. Thumbnails are very well done to show you what exactly you're getting. So for example if we say wanted to use uh, this kind of grass you just select on the name and uh, it will just add that into a uh, blender so you can see it is done here you can either exit the manager or just minimize it you can easily populate your scene with uh, vegetation quite easily now say you have let's say uh, different objects in your scene and you want to distribute them on this plane and uh, let's say this is your terrain i uh, can uh, first create a terrain here by scrolling down in the add-on and i will find a terrain creation tool I'm just going to scale this up a bit 
something like that. So we have our terrain. You can, you can tweak these settings a bit to get better terrain, but I'm just going to use this for demonstration uh, purposes. So now, if you want to distribute these particles onto this terrain, all you have to do is select them and, uh, and scroll up until you find the scatter options and uh, select any of these thumbnails to get uh, to use other uh, distribution you see here. So we can use the array and uh, then scatter see it will give us uh, the same distribution we see here and uh, for each preset you select if you scroll down you will find a, a tweaking panel where you can tweak the different settings you can change the percentage of displayed particles by tweak by changing the percentage here you also can change the emission count density as i said the scatter add-on also comes with the biomes asset library so if you hit n and under scatter let's again choose our target and uh, you can see we have the biomes manager and if you click on that it will take you to the asset library with with a bunch of presets that you can use with the scatter add-on so you can see we have a lot of grass details here and uh, let's say we can let's get this kind of dried grass so all you have to do is select on the name and it will be added to your target mesh now you see how easily it is to add vegetation to your scenes now the problem is that our terrain does not have the same material or the grass the expected ground surface material that's not a problem because amazingly the biomes manager also comes with different materials for ground surfaces so if we select that again we can just go to the biomes manager and uh, this time in the categories we can change from the biomes to uh, scatter material and uh, you can see we have a few presets uh, for that as well so i'm just going to select uh, let's say uh, a, a surface a material surface that matches what i have here so i'm just going to select this and uh, that should be added to the surface as well so now if i close this out uh, i can also go to the scatter manager under tweaking and turn off some of these layers just so we can appreciate uh, the surface so i'm going to just turn off some of these that we can look at just the material or the different surfaces individually so this is what the material is let's go to EV because it's a faster render and see how the surface looks and now you can add in the vegetation again one by one and remember you still have control over the different scattering settings for this you also have this clustering as settings so if I add one, we have control over how we want these particles to be distributed. Uh, we can influence how these particles are distributed by either using a noise procedure texture or an image-based distribution. So if we use the noise texture, we can change the influence, a uh, scale, but uh, the scatter add-on also comes with a bunch of bitmap images uh, that you can use to influence how these uh, particles are distributed. So if we change from noise to image and uh, under the bitmap, you can select, you can click on the bitmap image. Let me expand this a bit and select on the th thumbnail to access more thumbnails. So let's say we go with this. We should choose a different type of grass that will make it easy for us to see what we are doing here. I think this could give us better distribution. So if we go to clustering and change this to image best and uh, select uh, this let's try this and see you can see the patterns there you can change the scale influence the scale contrast how much this influences the distribution and if you're having trouble uh, previewing what you're doing uh, so say your computer is lagging a lot you also have under the instancing tab you can change how your particles are rendered from a high polygon uh, render to a low polygon render, or at least for your viewport area. So if I go to instancing and expand that, you can see that I can change how these particles are rendered, are previewed here, so that I can easily navigate through my scene without any troubles. And after I want, to, if I want to go back, I can go to the high polygon version by just clicking on these. If still this is not low poly enough for me, I can just go straight to a proxy mode where I'm only seeing empties but uh, in the render settings, you actually see the particles uh, themselves. As you can see that we're seeing the leaves instead of uh, the empties. We are 10 minutes into this review and we haven't even touched the best part of this add-on. So if you add a curve, let's say a Bezier curve, just going to move it ahead, you can use it to influence how these particles are distributed as well. So I can select the terrain and go under masking then create a new mask i want to use a curve a bezier 3d curve path and uh, just expand this to select the curve that i'm using so bezier curve then you can update 
and I use add influence to selected system. And now if we play with the minimum and uh, the maximum and minimum distance, you can see how we, influence, how we start to influence uh, this. I can make edits to the curve and go back to the masking options. You can see how this is affecting the distribution of the particles. Uh, you can say change, again change the minimum. You can use it to influence where the particles are added. So there are a lot of features that I'm not going to be able to cover in this video, but you can go to the download page to look at the features yourself. A link is going to be added in the description so that you can check out everything for yourself. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.